Ebony Bridges, congratulations. You were the new IBF bantamweight champion of the world. You showed so much desire in there tonight. You said there might be a few tears in victory. Just tell me how much this means to you. I kind of got like, mm, but I, didn't, I couldn't bring the tears on, you know, um, but I did feel it inside. You know, it means the world to me, obviously. Um, and, you know, obviously I just wanted to, you know, prove you know, that I can fight and everything. She came in, she brang it. And um, I honestly didn't think she was going to. I knew that she can fight like that. The reason um, I wanted to fight her originally is because she fights like that. And I love those kind of fights, as we know. Um, so when she banged that fight, I was like, okay, this, this is war and this is going to be a good fight. And um, I enjoyed every minute of it. And I'm so happy that um, I could win for Mark as well. You know, I said, you know, in an interview just before that, um, you know, I want to make Mark proud and I want to do what we've been working on. And I think we did, um, plus some more. And um, yeah, it all paid off, you know, all the sacrifices have been worth it. Things come and go in life, but you will forever be a world champion now in the history books. You said, just said to me off camera there, I said, how long do you think this will take to sink in? And you said, I thought I was a champion yesterday. Just yeah. tell us about that mindset. Yeah, I mean, um, exactly. You know, I've been manifesting this, you know, obviously the whole, like, the whole camp. Um, you know, I've been saying and talking as if I am the champion. I knew that I was going to be the world champion. Um, there was never a doubt in my mind I came into this fight believing and truly believing, knowing and being confident that I was going to come out as a world champion because I was going to do whatever I had to do. I had to dig deep, whatever I had to do, listen to Mark, listen to my trainer. I thought I did a pretty good job of listening to him um, and we got the job done. Um, so I wasn't shocked, but um, I'm just extremely happy. We've seen yourself and, and Mark Sibbs, like you say here, forming a fantastic relationship that not a lot of people saw coming over the yeah. last few months. How important has Mark and, and Jimmy's role as well been in, in seeing this performance tonight? Oh, incredible. And um, I talked to Jimmy just before I walked out. I gave him a call um, because it's important you know, for me to have a talk to him because he's been part of it to me and I respect him so much. And, um, you know, me and Mark, are like family now. I, honestly, he's like family to me and he always will be. And I'm just so happy that we can make history today for, for me, for women's boxing, for the Tibbs family, you know, to make history for the gym um, and just prove that, you know, if you, if you set your mind to something, if you do everything you can, the sacrifices and you truly believe in yourself and you put the work in, then you can, it, it can be possible. And that's what I did. And um, I'm so blessed I was able to share this with Mark and also Kaylee and Brian being my corner wing, but so well together, you know, um, Mark, Kaylee and Brian, you know, I could hear them all. And I think it was a big team effort and I'm so blessed to have them. It's, I've got a perfect team now and I'm looking forward to moving forward with it and getting more, more belts. And like I just say, you've got to this position being yourself, challenging yep. just to think about every stereotype in the book to get to this position. But what yeah. sort of message do you hope that is sending out to the rest of the world tonight? Yeah, just exactly kind of like what I said, you know what I mean? You know, forget stereotypes. Don't judge, judge a book by its cover, you know. Um, you know, people look at me and they think that I can't fight or I don't take the, the sport seriously just because what I'm pretty, because I like to, you know, get in the scales a certain way, because I like to uh, uh, promote myself on social media. I like to talk to my fans. It doesn't mean I don't take the job seriously. It doesn't mean I don't train hard or harder than anyone else. Um, I'm still working just as hard, you know, um, and I just hope that now people can see and give everyone an opportunity, everyone a chance um, and not judge, you know, by books, by them covers, you know what I mean? Because, yeah. And to do this uh, in Leeds as well, your ringwalk music tonight, echoing your feelings of this city yeah. being like your second home. Did that make it even more special fairy tale stuff, really? Uh, yeah, 100%. You know, fighting here is almost like, obviously I'm fighting for Australia, I'm an Australian, and um, fighting here in Leeds was like fighting in front of my, my hometown, my home city, the reception that I get, the love that I get here, and I'm so happy to do it for Leeds. Um, you know, I really do. Um, you know, the atmosphere when I walked out was incredible, and... Um, Man, yeah, I mean, it's starting to hit me now. I I'm, I'm really am the new and I am a world champion and that's absolutely fucking incredible. Well, this is just the beginning yeah. of the big fights now. Shannon Courtney was ringside, yeah. very complimentary of your performance yeah. tonight. Is that the, the fight perhaps we see next, uh, the winner of Shannon Courtney oh. and Jamie Mitchell? Yeah, well, now that I've had the fight and I've won, I can talk about it because I was reluctant to talk about anything past this fight. Um, like I said, I hadn't booked my tickets home or anything like that, and I didn't want to talk about Shani or anyone, really. But, yeah, look, now I've got the belt. Now she has to go get a belt. And when she gets her belt, then we can unify. Because, to be honest, like what I said at ringside, um, you know, I want to unify. I want to keep going. I, I want to have that fight with Shannon, but I'm not going to just go and give her the, the fight. That, you know what I mean? Because she didn't want to do it with me. And I would love to unify because that's the next step. You know what I mean? The Shannon fight's always going to be there as long as she can, you, you know, she can bring that, you know, bring the fight and all that. So I do hope she gets the belt um, so we can unify because that it's a mega fight, you know. Um, so despite our personal differences. I do. I would like her to get the belt so we can have a really meaningful, meaningful fight. You know, if she doesn't get the belt, then she's just going to have to wait in line with the rest of them. You know what I mean? But I do want to have that fight eventually. Brilliant. We'd certainly love to see it. I'm just going to bring in uh, the man of, of the moment in the corner as well, Mr. Mark Tibbs. Mark, you just park you in front of that uh, mic there with Ebony. As a, a man, Mark, who 
perhaps had never really thought about getting involved in yeah. women's boxing as a coach until you met Ebony Bridges. How proud do you stand here tonight? Do you know what? I'm so, so, you don't, you can't even imagine how I feel about this lady because, you know, with a limited experience, but the work ethic and the professionalism is incredible. And she is the best professional boxer I've ever worked with to date. I'm going to say that now. Sorry, sorry, boys. <laughs> That's a big statement. No, I mean that. I mean that. She's professional. This is what makes her professional, because she she's aware of her, her, her limited, if we all respect, experience. Yeah. experience. But she goes away and corrects her, does her own work in in her where she is, comes back, comes back and a better fight. Do her homework. Do her homework, <laughs> and she she eats incredible. She's on her weight. She's 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 just every area, every area. She's a true proper professional and and I'm so over the moon for her because I know how much it means to her and she done a, you done a great job tonight and do you know something you know what you did tonight you're gonna grow from this and you're gonna be believe it or not you like to brawl and fight but you're gonna be a box fire I took Sm a few steps back <laughs> you did you did you had to have a breather and it, that was hard to get that into her because she started off real fast I wasn't sure you could cope, keep this up. But, you know, honestly, when you see that fight again, you, you, you're you going to watch that and you're going to be twice the fighter. Now you're a world champion. Yeah. Well done, babe. Excuse me. Thank you. What a team. What a GO. Mark Tibbs, well Ebony Bridges, congratulations to Thank the you. pair of you. Thank well you. Done. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all my support as well. Brilliant. Well